Island's closing. What brings you here? The children in my cabin have fallen ill. Our usual tonics aren't working. I came to... <laughs> Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. She simply collapsed? Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time. Too much to drink, eh, miss? Health? She seems occupied. All right, miss. You're feeling faint. What is she doing? Best keep an eye on her. Thank <laughs> you. 
me about the price, sir, but you can ask any of my customers. This Quick, is... get help! <laughs> So backwards. I can't thank you enough. These supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. They're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Giddy up! You mean that cart? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. <gasps> Atta girl. Go on. You're back. 
and not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Pablonelli, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. from the bottom of my heart. Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrett keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. But one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. Well, his company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. <laughs> Oh dear, you never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. Static Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air, and his operations are about to turn you. Pear shaped! What you going on about air and pears for? Oh, I don't know, feel rough! Oh, oh. oh that's disgusting! 
Interesting. Young scamps get everywhere. Agility of a dollar of donkey's apples. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Whoa! You dropped a no one. Oh, oh, go blimey, me! It's got me throat. Oh, oh! Those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. Keep that telly what's it. I'll count to three. Three? Well, <laughs> let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. I feel all wobbly, Baz. You are in shock, my dear fellow. But what'd you say? Hope he's not up to any mischief. Bravo, Threatened for us to worry about. Thanks to you, Jacob. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. <laughs> I found myself rather witty, too. Well, make some more bombs and let's sort out Starek's propaganda machine, shall we? Come on, we haven't got all day. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. Let's get to it, then. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that shooting setup? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious crime. Good on you, Alec. But you can't go knocking on everyone's door. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives, profanities, and villains <laughs> game. <laughs> or rats in the sewers. But if we can eradicate a source that continually feeds such detriment on them, you sneak inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Keep moving. <laughs> Oh, 
gonna be so sorry! What's that? over here. Jacob Eve, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. Uh, no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by.
Miss Attaway. Yes, may I? Oh. Splendid, you're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. Then what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. Come with me. We have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken. If you'd be so kind as to take the reins. You must understand, I've received threats against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick bought out his company. And no offense, I hope, but you do not the killed. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. What then is your interest in my redemption, Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity that will benefit us both. Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike back. Who's a good horse? You are. Steady on. Malcolm Milner, Starrick's puppet himself. Careful, you twats! This park scene needs to make it to the Outway Depot. He thinks he can burn my buses. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> we'll turn Milner's park scene against him. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. I shall leave you to it.
driver. I just passed him on the mill now. That was a week ago. Around. Some help with that. I'm not I told you. <laughs> Heave ho, Jacob.
primed and ready. already. You're hired. Oh, I have more business planned for us both. Drop a note to my secretary to make an appointment, and I shall review the next step in our scheme. I don't actually work. Like that. Miss Fry, I brought some books. I hope I'm not intruding by being here. Quite the contrary. It's nice to have the company. A herbarium? Are you collecting flowers for someone? Only myself. I'm told it's something of a British pastime. Did you know, they all have symbolic meanings. I had heard something of the sort. Of course you have. Unfortunately, I have no time to fill the book. I could collect some samples. If you would accept my help. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Fry. We need to do something about your outfit. 